back hello again you know what i actually going through my videos my channel i actually realized that i haven't done a video about triumph of bacchus so because it's just arrived today i give you triumph of bacchus my own <laughs> review so this this is a really beautiful white box so i'm dressed in white also that kind of <laughs> goes together well i really love this even more than <coughs> adonis awakens which i also have a bottle of before and the juice is actually a rather same color you know yeah orange but i, I love this watch look at that so beautiful gold on silver wow man <laughs> so for you who don't know much about greek mythology uh i think many have still heard of bacchus or dionysus that's his greek or greek original name he was the god of wine and uh you know fertility and uh you know <laughs> other things as well hedonism to put it simply yeah and drunken uh, stupor yeah so anyway uh, <coughs> with that you kind of expect something to have i mean notes of you know wine or something like that but uh, no not really but still you got a boozy note which is quite outstanding and unusual that is rum that's what makes this really smell quite unique yes uh, of course christian petrich made this um uh, this is also got white peach green apple and saffron in the top tonka bean patchouli vetiver and jasmine in the middle and tobacco vanilla amber sandalwood and musk at the bottom beautiful composition really so yeah yeah here it says bacchus was considered a god of wine making fertility ritual madness theater and religious ecstasy yeah so uh he was uh, depicted as you know being uh drawn in a chariot by you know goats and tigers and leopards surrounded by leopards and all that stuff so here you have it you know in this here you maybe you can see you know <laughs> doesn't matter he is in a carriage together with his uh partner uh yeah <laughs> whoever that is i forgot well anyway the fragrance itself is just you know it will blow your mind pretty much mm, very boozy opening but also sweet fruity mm, wonderful i mean sweet fruity slightly ambery tonka bean sugar ah, this is like smelling a really great kind of uh you know that kind of fruit uh, mix, you know, <laughs> uh, which they, I mean, here I know for Christmas they make this stuff, which is, uh, you know, I don't know what you call it. Oh, yeah, you, you call it the agno, agno, yeah, because that has the rum, you know. <sighs> but it's even better than that, because it's also got vanilla and tobacco, and uh, it's just a... Uh, celebration of nature and the delights of nature and celebration of yeah i guess of the fall i mean this is a well a fall wintery scent because it's also rather powerful and you know opulent it's not really meant for the heat the summer or even the spring maybe but uh, yeah it's perfect full scent i really love it there isn't really <laughs> much else to say 
Yeah, as it dries down, it becomes a little bit more, you know, musky and uh, vanilla and sandal-like and all that amber. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tried this before. You know, when I got a Donuts Awakens, I got a sample of. Uh, I chose a sample of uh, Triumph of Bacchus. And that's a really good thing because with Argos you can choose which samples you want, and you don't you don't just get randomly you know, chosen samples like with most other companies. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, I would really, really advise you to at least to get a sample of this. I think you will love it. I mean, it is on the pricier side, of course. And also, it has a really, really good sillage and uh, performance and all that. Lasts. It lasts <laughs> really, really well. Real enough to put it that way, simply. And uh, where is this best to be worn? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> it is a rather you know, special kind of scent, rather, yeah, not your everyday, you know, office or date or gym, so, I guess because of its foodiness, I mean, and booziness, either during the festivities, you know, like the Yuletide, or in a bar, you know, <laughs> in a bar, or even, I mean, you can wear it to a club, why not, I mean, it's not something that will turn off anyone, you know, yeah, I mean, it's a rather, you know, I, I see it as a more of a masculine fragrance, even though it is, uh, you know, marketed as a unisex fragrance, but uh, I think women can wear it, but it's not necessarily feminine, it's not, I don't see it as a feminine scent at all, it's, uh, but yeah, I mean, because of its some somewhat gourmandish nature, and we love you know how women love gourmand scents. I think they will like it also. Many of many women will like it, and I guess they can pull it off. But it's not something that we really like recommend for a woman who really wants to smell feminine. You know, but yeah. Anyway, it's a more of a yeah masculine uh, scent delight put it away so i guess i said what i really wanted to say about this triumph of bacchus wow it's really it's really quite perfect and i know for sure one guy that doesn't usually like argos or you know these newer houses <laughs> i can mention him a shout out to my friend dev he said he he like he tried a sample and he did like it actually. So there you go. And when he says he likes something, you better you know take that as you know <laughs> as coming from a you know a really how do you say it picky kind of nose. <laughs> All right, have a have a good time. That was it. Bye.